Hello, girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with your Witchy Wednesday. I will say I am not nearly as prepared on this Witchy Wednesday as I would like. Um, but today we're going to be talking about juniper berries. I absolutely love the smell of these. I can actually just sit here and just sniff these like all day. They, they smell absolutely phenomenal. And I've had these for years, so they're pretty potent on their smell on their scent, but that's what they look like there. Um, as I remember, not fairly, um, not really that expensive, and I have one that just got away. Uh, hold, please. Okay, after a, an exhaustive search, I found the one little berry. Now, I'm gonna toss that one away. Um, the reason that I kind of freaked out, because they are not good for dogs and cats. Um, I don't think one berry would really do anything uh, of significance, but better not to take, take chances. Um, as for the smoke and whatnot, if you are making this into an incense, uh, consult a vet and, uh, yeah, consult, you know, WebM or the, uh, not WebMD, PetsMD or whatever it is, uh, consult that, see what it says. Um, I've burned it before and have had zero problems with the cats and dogs. So, yeah. Uh, I am a little hickledy pickledy on my notes, and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go, th go with it and, uh, see how it turns out. But before I go on, if you like seeing content from me, uh, and would like to support this channel, uh, you can click the link for the Patreon and become a patron. Thank you to our patrons, uh, Sophia and Linda. Thank you very much. Um, uh, let's see, what else? If you would like to get something tangible for your money uh, that helps support me as an individual, you can check out the eBay link down below. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. If you do not have the funds to support uh, me or my channel or m this endeavor of uh, starting a Christo Pagan church, that's fine. You can support this channel in other ways. You can click the subscribe button right down there, hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever new videos come out. Uh, you can like or dislike this video. It all appeases the algorithmic gods of YouTube. All hail the algorithmic gods of YouTube. And um, if it is safe for you to do so, you can share this on your social media platforms. Always uh, looking for comments and suggestions. Did I leave something out? Uh, did I forget something? Am I incorrect on something? If I'm ever incorrect on something, please do let me know. Anyway. We're going to move on. I have a list of things here. Uh, for one, I want to go forward with the, if you are pregnant or, you know, think you might be pregnant, uh, don't use juniper berries. Uh, that, and I'll get into some of that. I, actually, I'm going to say that part first. Um, because it can be used for... Urinary problems, arthritis, rheumatism, nerve pain, muscle aches, um, and it can, let's see, where, where is it, where is it, where is it? See, uh, um, it can strengthen and cleanse the stomach and digestive tract, and it can stimulate menstrual flow and ease cramping. So, obviously, if you are uh, doing, if you are having juniper berries, Probably not a good thing uh, to use them if you would like to remain pregnant. So a little FYI on that. Of course, always before you use it for any medicinal uses, consult a doctor because I am not a doctor and I am not giving medical advice. So let's go ahead and go down the list here. It is associated with potency and... or I can't read my own writing. Uh, it is associated with prophecy and divination. Uh, it has been used for cleansing, healing, uh, protects against negative energies, encourages energy flow. It wards against theft. theft. Uh, when worn, it can protect against accidents and attacks. It wards against ghosts and sicknesses. Uh, increases male potency. So, yeah, that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. It increases psychic faculties, it breaks hexes and curses, kills germs, and purifies the air. Love smelling it. Uh, it nurtures souls of the dead until they are ready for reincarnation. 
and and this is um, why they were once planted on graves. So if you see a juniper uh, plant or jun juniper tree growing in a cemetery, that's part of the reason why. Uh, let's see. What else? And it has been buried with some pharaohs in the past. Uh, it repels biting bugs. So if you are burning this or making it into a tincture, uh, again, before you apply anything to your body, make sure with a medical professional that that is something that's safe for you to do so. But if you are doing it as a tincture or like a, a salve, then you can use it in that manner to keep away the mosquitoes, especially if you are, like me, living in New Jersey or the surrounding areas where mosquitoes are certainly a thing. Um, let's see, what else? I already read that part. Um, it can help with coping with mental fatigue, angst, and stressful conditions. So those of you who are like me that have anxiety, probably a good thing. I'm going to actually start um, uh, doing more incense with Juniper here in the future because I, yeah, I noticed like today I was at work and I have had like such a, a foggy mental day today. It, it's weird. Um, moving on, it has been used in rites of passage as a protector during uh, like shamanic journey work. Uh, and it's great for getting in touch with deities and spirits of nature. So, some uses that we can have for juniper. Excuse me. Yeah, I had, had a little cough there. Sorry. Some uses that we can have for juniper is, for one, if you get one of these nifty little sachets, something like that. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Um, I, I just have something in my throat. I do apologize. If you have a little sachet like this, always great to have a little, um, or I think they're called organza bags. So one thing that you can do is you can put some juniper in there and you can hang it up at your doorways. That will help protect against the theft and uh, it will help protect your house against anything that is negative that wants to creep into your life. Um, let's see. It will, and like I said, it wards against theft. Um, and if you have it in a little sachet, you can carry it around with you, and that will uh, ward against sickness. Um, it will ward against ghosts. Um, it will protect you against accidents and attacks. Now, with that, I do have to say, because there, I, I know there's going to be somebody out there that watches this and says, well... I, I had Juniper with me, and I I got into a car accident. Common sense still prevails, too. So, let's have some common sense whenever you drive. Doesn't mean you have to drive like a maniac. Like some people on my way home from work today. Anyway, um, yeah, you can put it in there. Put it in your car. It has a fantastic scent um, about it. So, you can put it in your car, and especially with it getting to be the summertime here in America... Um, you can, or in the U.S., having it in your car whenever it is baking in the heat just releases that aroma and everything. So that might be something that I actually start to do for the summertime, is put that in my car. Um, so not only does it protect against anything, like uh, any negativity coming towards you, it will also freshen up your car, which is an added bonus. Having it hanging in your room... Uh, what I would say is get a little, um, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, take two cinnamon sticks, tie them together if you want that nice, uh, male potency, uh, for, and by that I mean, like, you know, libido, and, you know, rising to the occasion. Y'all get where I'm going with this. So, you get, uh, two pieces of uh, cinnamon, tie them together with a string. You have that nice scent that uh, in, invokes love and protection and, you know, romantic um, stuff. And uh, then you put some juniper berry in there and you just let it do its thing. 
with all the the aromas and everything within your room you can also make it into an incense which is primarily the way that i utilize juniper berry uh, making it into an incense very uh, easy to do you can mash it up with a uh, mortar and pestle and let it dry out and then um, let it dry out just a little bit and then you can put it on a charcoal disc um, I would also use it for psychic um, uh, strengthening so if you need it to strengthen um, you, you need to strengthen your psychic bond maybe you are doing uh, tarot readings or maybe you are doing um, divination work just for yourself or for others you can always have it burning in the background and whatnot but that's all that I have for today I do apologize that this was a little bit all over the place I just heard the dinner bellow uh, as I like to call it my partner just finished dinner and has yelled that it's time for dinner so I'm going to leave you all with that. Um, do join me on Saturday for our Witchy Book Club series. We are uh, covering Lesson 8 in the uh, Modern Magic, The 12 Lessons of the High Magical Arts by Donald M Michael Craig. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you today. So until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye.